My name is Charlotte Moore. I was a GHS cheerleader in the 60s, and this is my daughter. I'm Ginger Moore Quillen. I was a GHS cheerleader from 1984 to 1988. You know, our group in the 80s, we look back and I think we were, you know, we were on kind of the front end of a lot of the, 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 the way the cheer program stands today. And I look at the girls today and, and the amazing things that they can do um, with their cheer squads. And I feel very connected to the program and feel like, you know, we were, we were kind of the start of a lot of what the, the cheer programs have, have come today. And I'm, I'm honored to be part of that, that legacy. We had one uniform. It was a red skirt that went to your ankle. And so it was impossible to do any type of gymnastics, even a cartwheel. So with my grandmother, we only have pictures, right? And to see, but just as mom pointed out, the difference in just the uniforms, and then you take that to the abilities. And, you know, in the 60s, they were, you know, long skirts and, um, you know, none of the gymnastics that we did, you know, in the 80s, and certainly not the level of what, you know, the girls are doing today. My dad always wanted to drive us um, in the homecoming parades. And so one year, I believe it may have been our freshman year, he was driving us on Main Street in Grapevine in, in, uh, in, in the parade. And he was so excited because being part of the community as well, he was waving and laughing as we were driving down Main Street. And next thing you know, we slam into the back of the homecoming queen who was in front of us. So um, we all got a big laugh out of that. Nobody was hurt and, um, and it, was a, it was a fun memory. The lasting impact for me is a legacy of great friends. Um, my squad, they are, they are my best friends and we are so connected to this day. We talk all the time. Um, even though several have moved out of state, we continue to get together. Um, so 36 years later um, and we're all still very close. And so for me, that's a, a lasting legacy is, uh, is the squad. We became very close. Um, a lot of us cheered together in middle school and it went all the way into high school. And uh, it's an amazing group of women.